All right, it's time for the last question of the day, and it comes from Alex DeVito, and they write, Jurassic World turned out to be pretty good. Why did Rotten Tomatoes have no reviews for the movie until a few days before its release? Did the studios hide the film from reviewers? No, 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 no. Like, like you said, the reviews came out before the movie came out. They didn't, they didn't hide. Now, sometimes there, there are embargoes till a certain date, and that is really, most of the time, that's just about the marketing department of the theater's planning being strategic about their marketing push. They want to time the release of these reviews to go with these particular TV ads they're going to put out and blah, blah, blah. And it's all part of strategy. Now, sometimes <laughs> you will get movies where that opens on, you know, July 25th, for example, and, you know, we will go to see a screening and it'll say, oh, uh, all reviews are embargoed until July 25th. That to us is a little bit of a little bit of red flag, but even then, most of the time, we end up getting an email like a week and a half before the movie comes out saying, "By the way, your reviews are clear to go now." Um, and then sometimes the biggest of the red flags are when there are no press screenings, or the press screenings are literally the night before the movie comes out. Those are the biggest times the red flags come out. But as long as the reviews come out like three or four days in advance, that's actually the sweet spot of when you're hitting your target audience. I really don't think that's a, that's a bad sign at all. Christian, as somebody who does this for a living, how yeah. do you see it? No, I think that, especially for Jurassic world it was a matter of it's, it's just a strategy of what if they what they think in the film the, the, this, i mean when we saw it it was i, I think on the monday before something and they have an embargo to where they it wasn't too many days before where the embargo was lifted and embargo is just when you're allowed to talk about the movie and if if it's got like three or four days before the movie comes out i was like okay that's that's kind of normal, yeah. and uh, it, it's when it's the <laughs> day before or the night. Well, you can release this uh, as the movie comes out at 10 p.m. at 9:59 p.m. <laughs> on, then, then, uh oh, then you're in trouble. But as far as like three, four days out, and they're doing a mass kind of uh, press screening, so all the press in New York and L.A. and everywhere is just going to see it on that particular two, one or two days. It's normal, to be honest. Yeah, the number of press screening options is also something I look at, too, is because Jurassic World had a lot of options, and you could see it well in advance of the actual release date and the embargo, so that usually gives me a little bit of a vote of confidence, like you said, John. Is it Sometimes they don't even have the press screening. Like, Season of the Witch, they ain't showing that movie <laughs> until Thursday at midnight before it comes out Friday because they want to make sure that nobody gets their review out. With something like Jurassic World, even if reviews did leak and started to leak early, it was fine because most people appreciated the movie, and I think we saw it a week before it came out and then the embargo was lifted like that Tuesday. So that's usually par for the course.